so you guys want to be the number one in your guild and flex with high gauze and good boss so yeah i guess you found the right channel yo chicks are here so today we're going to do INEC art and yeah we're going to jump into the video after the intro We are back and this is going to be the team we are going to use to crit in INEC. But before I'm going to talk more precise about that, I will show you guys a clip and warn you guys because this might drive you insane. So it's really up to you, but this is ultimately the team how to get the highest score in INEC. So yeah, as you can see, you might not want to do this, but yeah, for you, I'm going through the hell. So guys, the food is going to be crit chance food, and yeah, let's go over the gear now. So I have my Gotha on HP defense gear in the middle, I have resistance pieces. So I think in my opinion, having the resins in the middle is one of the key stuff. So I think Gotha with UR middle defense is fine as well. But for units, you don't have the gear, for example. Here it's a bit odd. I have crit chance broken because I have UR bottom pieces of Slater already. So defense will help you a little bit instead of the broken HP to patience a bit better. But usually it's still fine. So in general, the INEC only gets the corrosion on when it crits. Oh, what the fuck? Wait a second, I have the wrong gear here on. Wait a second, let me change this one to resistance. Here coming to daddy. She's on attack crit damage with a 5-5 five, five split. So yeah, we're pretty good to go. And also my Slater is missing. Oh, I forgot to exactly show Slater. So what I did with Slater is... I did the weapons and changed out the SR weapon instead of the UR one because this one gives crit chance. And if you guys don't know, um, Slater is one of the key units here. He decreases the enemy's crit resistance by the value of his crit chance. So yeah, if I get the pop-up shop weapon, he would gain another crit chance and has 130, but we are still good to go. And yeah, obviously the top pieces of his gear are maxed out crit chance and common is totally enough because he's really here only for utility so we are going to jump into the fight now first round we are just going to burn the cards we don't need and then we're going to move this to the left and then we're moving another gotha card after that it's going to be really depending on what cards you get to break the shield so you don't seal right away because you can most likely patience and next round you are going to start to build up your stacks so depending on what cards we get for example if i get another slater attack card or a daddy attack card i'm good to go but i'm definitely going to use the this attack card and i'm going to break the shield i'm going to use the dissolve because we want to try to control this boss ult gauge as much as we can and that's why we also don't throw this card away because then we would have to draw it again and we don't even get a point for that we are getting five points for applying a debuff though so yeah moving is the much better way in my opinion and yeah so if you don't get any cards to break the shield you have to use the one star buff and then attack with daddy and with this card and then you can still seal so yeah now we will just jump until we might get a decent run and yeah be right back Guys, here as you can see, unfortunately we got ulted, but very lucky or very fortunate that we didn't have any 2-star cards, so we didn't get ranked down. 
and those cards are right now really really beautiful we have all the setup done and yeah so we're going to break the shield we are going to get the ult of Helbram, which is perfect and i guess we are just going to double rank up and yeah we we have everything what we need ready so here the only thing what we have to decide to is for example let's say we are getting more cards we can elongate the run but this is just a guide so i'm not the one who has to go for the perfect run it's you guys who have to go for the perfect run so here right now i can't even continue because he has the seal and we can't seal so if i would have gotten the slater seal i would have definitely gone for one more turn but this one is a turn six six evasion so if you guys don't know why i always say evasion or without evasion because some people are asking me that so daddy Yaddy is having a amplify ult which does more damage based on the active buffs on daddy Yaddy. so obviously you want to have the evasion as well because it's a bonus buff so yeah um now coming to what do you need when you finish a run so obviously you want to have as many daddy cards as you can and this is very important what you might not know and you might be thinking hey why is this guy not using Easton? Easton is tankier and stuff she has better stats and stuff she would give more HP points I would agree but what Helbram is doing with the ult is he can't set buffs and stances and the reason why you want to do that is this one as a defense related stats increase which means also crit resistance and stuff and if you can get the ult of Helbrom before you are going to ult of course the chance to crit is much much higher because he has such a high crit resistance you actually really need it and yeah we are good to go so we are going to buff we are going to buff again and we are going to finish the run okay Turn six. Okay, nice. Six million damage. And what's the score? The score is 2,847. Finally, after three hours. Actually, three and three and a half hours, right, guys? Damn. But yeah, wow. This took actually really, really long because um, I, you guys know, today it just came out and I um, didn't have enough experience and stuff. And yeah, but I'm very satisfied. Yes, we are finally done with heart. Oh my God. Oh my God, guys. Oh yeah, guys, that's it, guys. That's it for the video. That's it for heart. The next episode is going to be extreme. We are going to use the same team and we are trying to get a lot of points. So yeah, don't miss it. And if this was helpful or you enjoyed watching this, make sure to comment, like and subscribe and also check out my Twitch channel and Discord as well. So yeah, thanks for tuning in and peace out for now.